Okay, lesson 7-3, making bar graphs. So let's get our sheet here. Okay, a frequency table shows the number of times something occurs. Frequency is how often something happens. So we have had a um, frequency table um, that we used yesterday to look at our favorite snacks. This was a frequency table up here. So we're gonna do the same thing here. It's just another way of looking at, at data. Okay, this frequency table shows how many newspapers Steve's delivered each week in November. Always, first thing when we're looking at a table, we need to look at our title. Newspapers Steve delivered in November. Week in November, we have week one, week two, week three, and week four. And if we go across, this is going to, this number will tell us the number of papers that Steve delivered in week one, the number of papers Steve delivered in week two, the number of papers that Steve delivered in week three, and the number of papers that Steve delivered in week four. They're talking about like newspapers where you drive around and throw them out into people's driveway. So he delivered 55 newspapers in week one. They're telling us that, and there's week one, there's 55. He delivered blank number of newspapers in week two. Well, here's week two. How many newspapers did he deliver? Fill that in right there. So week two, he delivered 60 newspapers. He delivered how many newspapers in week three? So find week three and write down how many newspapers he delivered. And then he delivered 40 newspapers in which week? Week number what? So go over here, look for 40, and then go over and see which week it is. Should find it right here, and it's week four, okay? So that's a frequency table. Now, totally different table here. The table below shows the number of minutes each team worked out before the game. Minutes each team worked out. Team name, you have team A, team B, team C, team D. And the workout minutes. So team A worked out 35 minutes before the game. So like stretching, running around. Team B warmed up or worked out for 20 minutes before the game. Team C, 15 minutes, and team D, 30 minutes. So just in looking at this, you should be able to spot right away which team worked out the longest. Should be team A. Which team worked out the shortest amount of time? Should be team C, 15 minutes. Now, they want us to use this data to fill out a bar graph. Remember, a bar graph is like this where we fill up the bars up to the number of minutes that each team worked out, okay? So we're going to do our team names, okay? Step one, label the bottom of the graph with each team name. So I'm gonna put team A here. What do you think we should put B here? What do you think you should put here? And then what do you think you should put here? Good. So we have team A, B, C, D, team A, B, C, D. So this is gonna be team A's bar right here, team B, team C, and team D. We're gonna have four different bars that are gonna go up for each individual team. Okay, write a label for the scale. This is our scale. Each line represents five minutes. You can see zero minutes, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So if we want to, um, we want to write a label for the scale. I would say um, it would just be minutes. This would tell us that this is minutes. We could say number of minutes, but I, I think minutes is fine. But we don't know if this is $5,000, is it $5, is it votes? So we have to give it something. We have to say that these are minutes, okay? Okay, draw a bar for each team. All right, team A is 35 minutes. So we go up here to 35. This is going to be the top of our bar. 
to come down and then you can just kind of shade it in. Okay, team B was 20 minutes. So I want you to pause it and draw the bar for team B. Okay, you should come up to 20, it should go right to here. It should be the top. Fill it in like that. Okay, F fill in the bar for team C. Pause it and fill it in and then come back. Should be 15. That line should be right there. And then pause it and do the bar for uh, Team D. Okay, 